Hey guys, so um, don't mind if I look over in this direction because since I can't flip back and forth between video, I'm checking the mirror to see that I'm not like getting cut off. So, um, hi, I know it's been a little over a month, but I've had to take two exams in like less than a month, long story. So I've been very, very busy. Um, I think I'm just like, what, two weeks over my, uh, month, video month thing? Anyway, um, I have two things. It's not really gonna be a long video, I don't think. It'll be maybe like a five minute one unless I ramble longer than I think I do. Um, there is news about a singer that I really like. In middle space and I want to show a few uh, middle pins that I got so there's that um, first we'll do the news her name is Nicole Dollenganger and I C O L E D O L L A N G A N G R doll ang anger so look her up. If not, you know, Google like autocorrects. So you'll be fine. Um, she, the reason why I like her so much is because, uh, man, I need a selfie stick. My arm is hurting. <laughs> um, the reason why I like her so much is because she has the most swear, swear she has the most angelic voice I've ever heard in my life. Like, the voice of an angel. Best I've heard. Um, and yet, the kind of material she sings about, the kind of material she sings about is... A lot of the time, it's not pretty. Um, it's kind of... Some people have compared her to Melanie Martinez, where the way their music sounds doesn't match the topics that they're talking about, but their music style is totally different. Totally, totally different. Like, um, what Nicole does is she doesn't have that much music in the background. It's more like acoustic type music that just lets her lets her voice really shine, which I think is really cool. For the more, it's like she sounds the way that like pink aesthetic and nymphet aesthetic looks, at least in my opinion. If, if you uh, check out some of her songs, you might see what I'm talking about. And the reason that I know so she has new music out. She um, had it out last week, like Friday. Friday the, um, like the first Friday in, what month are we? April? <laughs> I'm a mess, you guys. Um, first Friday in April-ish, and I don't know when I'll be posting this. Um, and yeah, so it's been... God, it's been like two, it's been at least two years, but I want to say like four since she's made, probably two, but it feels like four because I'm a fan, but time-wise it's probably been, um, time-wise it's probably been two years that she's come out with something, but I love her stuff so much. So if you like voices that sound like an angel, and lyrics that clash. Not all of her lyrics clash, but she has a very special way of writing her music, so I will say that. Um, if you guys are curious and interested about that, check her out. And you, if you already listen to her, then comment below and let me know that you're a fan and we can talk about her. All right, so uh, that's it for... Um, the news about the artist that I would recommend and now on to the pins and that'll be the end of the video so this is the first one which is gatos before vatos 
And if you don't know Spanish, that basically translates to cats before guys, cats before men, cats before dudes. And ain't no man gonna take me away from cats. So no matter how much I love a guy, it is totally a deal breaker if he doesn't deal with my love for cats. So there's that. There is not today Satan. This, uh, these pins are pretty new. So I, I had to get this one when I saw it because this was after my post. Some of you saw my posts on Tumblr, like December of 2017, where I, uh, the post was a quote of my daddy telling me not today, Satan. <laughs> And this was bought just this month in April. So I thought that was, you know, I thought that was funny. So this has, I love the phrase in general, but I just love it even more now because it's kind of hit on a personal level now. So there's that. And lastly is horror movies in chill because, duh, like I really have nothing else to say about this. I love horror movies um and that is like if you know what chill with the whole chill in netflix and chill is y'all should understand why so um that's it i'm just gonna end the video flat out right there you guys saw the pins you guys saw the news and i'll see you guys next time bye oh wait no actually um if you guys want to get these pins Sorry, I'm holding the camera at a weird angle. If you guys want to get these pins, they are from Madame Whiskers on Etsy. So look them up if you want these kind of pins. They have earrings and stuff too. They, um, actually, I met them in person, and some of their in-person inventory is not on their shop. But, I mean, I would say still check them out. So good luck with that, guys. So there is one item from Madame Whiskers I forgot to mention, and that is this Wednesday Adams. Let's see if it'll focus. I think it's focusing. This Wednesday Adams ring. So it's adjustable. Anyone can wear it. I have pretty fat fingers, so thank goodness for that. Um... Alas, I don't think that Madame Whiskers has this on their online shop because I did visit, but that was like a week ago, the day I got it. Um, but if you want, you can like message them and ask that you know someone that bought this. And I mean, you can special request it that goes for the that goes for the um, pins as well. They are not cheap. Their pins, I should have said this before, their pins and their rings are not cheap, at least to me, because I don't have a fucking job. I save up money. Um, but I thought it was so worth it. If you guys want to see it on, if you guys want to see it on, then continue watching. If not, then this is the end of the video. So, so this is it. Um, I have pretty big hands pretty big hands but um and mind you i don't like wear any really gothic clothing um nothing that would suit the ring but i just loved it so much i decided that i just had to have it it's pretty big i don't know if you could tell outside of like wearing it on your hand that it's pretty big but um i thought it was worth it so yeah, bye guys.